A disgruntled admirer of Lady Gaga has expressed regret and reiterated that he is not a horrible guy following footage of him becoming enraged with theater employees about the absence of his heroine in the film trailers. Ethan Silver, 30, went to his neighborhood IFC Center Cinema in New York City with the intention of watching the newest Joker 2 promotional video, which stars Lady Gaga and Joaquin Phoenix. However, he lost it when it didn't show up and his request for a refund was turned down. He started cursing at the box office employees and threatened to call the police. Silver was startled to watch his actions go viral when they were captured on camera by an inconspicuous bystander and uploaded to the fan site gagadaily.com. He replied, I really hate that this is all over the internet and I am really embarrassed and sorry for all the trouble I caused. I want to make it clear that I am not a horrible person since the first trailer for Joker Folia Du was released in April and received 167 million views in the first 24 hours of its release. A record for a Warner Brothers film. Excitement has been growing. The most recent teaser, which was published last week, features Gaga's Harley Quinn as the hero Arthur Fleck, and it has already received 23 million views on YouTube. Despite not being a movie buff, Silver claims he went to see the trailer in a theater to support Lady Gaga. Anticipating to view the trailer, he walked to the theater on 6th Avenue and requested a ticket to any film. However, it wasn't available at the independent cinema, which focuses on foreign language, indie, and vintage films. It was annoying to sit through so many trailers for dumb movies that nobody watches, Silver remarked. After asking nicely for a refund at the box office, which I felt was within my rights, some random guy started filming me on the street. The woman said, the wannabe YouTuber lost his cool with the uncooperative box office employees and ended up on the other side of the camera. I swear to God, if you don't give me a f asterisk 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 ing refund, he angrily exclaimed. Trailers run for 30 minutes. My desire was to see Lady Gaga in the Joker teaser and to be the Joker. Give me a f asterisk 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 ing and I'll call the cops. As the video started to circulate online. Some moviegoers expressed sympathy for his situation. To be honest, I was furious when my device played the teaser instead of the updated trailer. Another said, Brothers got his priorities straight. A third said, Let me guess, they showed the Nicole Kidman trailer again, huh? However, some were not as understanding, and Silver claims the criticism has wounded him. People are saying horrible things about me, but Lady Gaga says never read mean things people say about you. He remarked, They say I'm crazy. But everyone loves me. I'm not crazy. I responded. It was not me. I apologized to the IFC employee. When it was announced that the 2019 Joker sequel will be a musical, some fans were incensed, while others were thrilled by the idea of seeing the poker face singer perform with Phoenix in some musical moments. Film fans are in for a treat as casting director Francine Maisler assures them that the actress, who plays a fellow asylum inmate who develops a lethal romantic relationship with the Joker, will blow your mind. As their love becomes stronger, Arthur's insane supporters, who saw him assassinate late-night TV personality Murray Franklin, Robert De Niro, in the first movie, go to the streets in an attempt to free him and wreak even more havoc on Gotham. I'll tell you what, Gaga's really good and surprising. Maisler remarked last month at the Czech Republic's Karlovy Very International Film Festival. Well, we all knew what she was capable of in A Star is Born, but I felt like, oh, that's kind of in her wheelhouse, something she could actually do. However, this, she's really fantastic, man. Joaquin amazes you, yet it demonstrates her talent that she could keep up with him and be genuine rather than being erased from the screen by the role and performance. According to Silver, he hasn't even seen the original Joker movie, which made $1.079 billion on a relatively small $55 million budget. The 81st Venice International Film Festival will host the sequel's world premiere before its October 2nd general release in the US. Silver, who is certain his heroine won't hold his lack of temper against him, will be among its early viewers. I believe we will get together and laugh about it, he remarked.